Mmm. Look at that nine millimeter. Ooh, nine millimeter. You guys got any nine millimeter? Hey, hey, do you guys, do you guys have stock of nine millimeter? Hey, do you, you guys, do you guys have nine millimeter? I don't. It's full Metal Jackets, Hollow Points. I don't care. Do you guys have any nine millimeter? Yes, people. That is all I have been hearing for the past three months, working in a gun shop. Do we have 9mm? Or, you guys got 223 556? 223 556 9mm does not exist right now. The few people that do have it are price gouging, except for us. The local gun shop I work at um, has its standard markup on everything. We have not price gouged on anything, and uh, we will not. And, and all these other places around us are. Or, they don't have any ammo at all. So it's getting it's getting pretty rough. I don't know how it is around you guys, wherever you guys are at. Leave it in the comment section below. But with this whole scamdemic, with the Cerveza virus, and then the looting and the rioting and the civil unrest, and then an upcoming election and everything in between, ammo, guns, everything that has to do with either of those is going through the roof in sales. And super high, super high demand and very, very short to no supply so people this is why i always stress buy it when you can get it while you can every week you get paid buy one box of ammo how hard is it people one box okay at my local shop uh this is a 10 11 box of ammo okay it was cheaper than that but our prices rose due to the prices rising at the distributors where we get it from so you know usually this is a 10 dollars box of ammo now it's an 11 dollars box of ammo um but some places are charging 26 dollars or more for a full metal jacket box of 50 nine millimeter and people are paying for it because people wait till last minute and they don't get it when they can while they can and they don't have enough of it they don't keep enough on hand maybe they got a couple boxes laying around i mean this looks like a lot of ammo to some people this is only 250 rounds i could go through this in 15 minutes at the range if i wanted to and that would be pacing myself um you know, th this is nothing. But to some people, this is a lot of ammo, and they think they're all right. And okay, I'm going to the range today. Oh, I got to try out my new gun. Oh, and then it's your last box. And then they don't resupply. You know, th and again, this is nothing. This is nothing. I just recently picked this up to shoot a match um, this coming Sunday. So look out for that, guys. Although, I don't know when you're going to be seeing this video. So that might not even be true. So scratch that. But anyway, I'm shooting a match um, this coming Sunday from when I'm making this video. And so I bought this for the match. 250 rounds is typically typically good for a USPSA match. You know, what I'm doing, I'm shooting limited division. But anyway, the video is about 9mm and just in general ammo shortages. What am I seeing though? 9mm um, is gone. We still have some, but we're running, 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 running low, folks. Buy it while you can. Um, two, two, three, five, five, six. We've got a limit on five, five, six, and two, two, three is how many, you know, how many boxes per person you can buy. We're trying to make it fair for everybody. We got uh, an even smaller limit on nine millimeter because we have even less of this and it's hard to get. Uh, we can't resupply. So, I mean, you guys are pretty much on your own. Everywhere online is out of stock. All the local gun shops are out of stock. The Bass Pros, the Cabela's, they're wiped clean. It's important to be a prepper, people. You have to think about this stuff, and even if it's just little stuff, there's no reason why you should not have, at the very least bit, a thousand rounds for every caliber that you own. And that's really bare minimum, in my opinion. And I'm talking about a thousand rounds that you do not touch. You save it for a rainy day just in case you can't, any, you can't get any more and you need some, okay? You know, I'm talking survival, bug out, whatever, self-defense whatever you know you should have a thousand rounds of each caliber so if you got 10 different calibers that's 10,000 rounds okay at a round a caliber or a, a thousand rounds a caliber um so yeah people i mean i know i'm kind of all over the place with this but i've been telling people for years i've been telling people on the channel and, and a lot of you guys understand a lot of you guys get it a lot of you guys are on the same page but i mean how hard is it every every time you get paid every time you got a couple extra bucks okay i'm gonna get a box of nine this time 
Next time I'm going to get a couple boxes of 22 because they're cheaper. Uh, maybe I'll save, you know, the money for two weeks and I'll get a box of 4570 or 30 out six or whatever, whatever it is that you need, that you want, uh, that you want to have on hand. And it adds up. It adds up real quick. You know, if, if you don't spend it on something that's going to be there when you need it, it's going to get blown on a monster, a coffee, um, beer, you know, stupid stuff. You know, you know, the last minute stuff, a pack of gum at, at the checkout. I'd rather, you know, not get coffee or not get soft drinks or whatever for a week and get a couple of boxes of these with that saved money. So, I mean, think about it, people. I'm seeing people get really, really desperate. People are paying through the nose for stuff that they shouldn't. And if they would have just been prepared to begin with, you know, getting the stuff when they can, when it's at a normal price, when it's the good times, then you would have for the bad times, people. And now everybody's running rampant. Everybody's getting scared. Everybody's going crazy. They're standing in lines for hours and hours and hours just to get a box of 9 millimeter for three times the price that it should be. It's nuts, people. It's nuts. And it's only going to get worse. So I'm making this video. Yes, we have crazy ammo shortages. Shortages. I can't even talk, guys. Um, I work in the industry. I work in a gun shop. I'm seeing this stuff firsthand. Uh, and plus, you know, it's just, it's all across the internet. Ammo shortages. Everything's out of stock. You guys see it. So it's important to get the stuff when you can. Get it while you can. You know, as much as you can. And, uh, that's, that's just a good practice, people. I've been doing it for a while. And again, yeah, it's nice to buy in bulk. You know, get 1,000 rounds at a time, 500 rounds at a time. You know, you, as long as you get decent shipping on it, you could save some money. But are you going to have that two, $300 laying around to be able to do that? Or is it easier every, every paycheck or, you know, whatever, every time you're at the gun shop, every time you're at Bass Pro, every time you're at Cabela's, leave with something. Even if it's a box of 20, even if it's a box of 22s, it could be 45, 40, 38, 357, 556, whatever you need. Get something, okay? Because when there's times like this, there's nothing to get. So that's the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave in the comment section below what you guys are seeing by you. Any crazy spike in prices? Uh, is there even anything left on the shelves to buy? And do you know if you're going to have any, any more coming soon? Like, we don't even know when we might get what we might get um, in the near future. So it's it's crazy out here, guys. Let me know. Let me know what's going on near you and um, what you think about all this and how you prep and, and buy your ammo. Do you buy it all at once? Do you buy it only when you need it, going to the range or whatever? Or do you buy a little bit here, a little bit there, and eventually you got a pile going? Um, please, please check out those first three links in the description box below. Those are to help you fight for your God-given inalienable rights. Um, gun rights are what protect all the rest of our rights, and we need those gun rights, okay? Um, we've been infringed upon for far too long, so please join up with those guys in the links uh, below, and uh, most importantly, do your own part and call and write and protest and civilly disobey and be ready to take it a step further if need be, because that is what the Second Amendment is about. And uh, furthermore than that, guys, if you want to help support the channel so I can bring you guys more and better content, shop with any of the links in the description box below. My Teespring merch um, should be posted below the video. Video. All that stuff helps out the channel, the Patreon, all that stuff. It's it's never expected, but it is always most certainly appreciated. And uh, that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.